Excuse me. Excuse me, do you know what time recess is? Okay, thanks. Yeah. Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. And Menchi! She is ready for the holidays. And yes, I know my makeup is crazy today, but did I have fun doing it? Yes. Anyways, it's getting to that time of the year where we reflect on trends over the past 12 months. In the nail world, if I had to name one thing that kind of blew up this year and just never stopped coming, it would be nail powders. And in the YouTube world, we've had lots of different stupid trends, but one of my personal recent favorites would have to be the mixing things together trend. As you may recall, back in April of this year, I posted a video where I mixed 500 of my hollow nail polishes together to see what color we would get. At the time, I was inspired by Hello Mayfi, who mixed 160 of her nail polishes together. And now, here we are! So for everyone who doesn't watch me for nails, that's most of you. <laughs> nail powders are often used to make the hot new nail trend of having a shiny or reflective smooth nail finish. Basically, the powder is buffed into the nail with a sponge or a flat and soft tool to give it that smooth, shiny finish. This technique used to only really be done by licensed professionals in a nail salon, but in the past year, we've had a bunch of different indie nail shops sell these nail powders direct to consumer. And with that came a bunch of YouTube tutorials to teach people how to do it themselves. And then all of a sudden, you got big box brands like Essence and Sally Hansen who caught on and started selling nail powders in the drugstore. <laughs> that shit hit the mass markets, I tell ya. The government is now taking the war on nail powders very seriously. You knew there were going to be drug jokes in this video. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, so what are we waiting for? Bring out the powders! Manchi, I said bring out the powders. Okay, I'll get them myself. <laughs> And we've got here 15 different iridescent nail powders, 9 silver hollow nail powders, 6 silver chrome powders, 20 multi-chrome powders, 11 hollow multi-chrome powders, and 8 colored chrome slash other types of powders that do not fit into any one of these preceding categories. And that brings us to a total of 69 nail powders! No, I did not plan that, that's just what it is, okay? Now for all those interested in the research methodology, let me just briefly explain my selection criteria. If the powder had any form of chunks in it, where you could actually distinguish like the different pieces inside, such as glitter or flakes, it was excluded. It was hard to kind of draw a line between what's a nail powder and what's a glitter or a flake, because sometimes the pieces are so small that they could almost be a powder, and some of them even perform like a nail powder, but you have to draw the line somewhere. And as the principal researcher on this project, I Actually, the only researcher. <laughs> I'm not alone. Wait, no, I'm not. We have our research assistant, Menchi. I just decided to keep the scope somewhat narrow and only choose powders that were very finely milled or finely cut. You know, like something you could snort. <laughs> Now looking at the selection of powders we have here, I would hypothesize that we would end up with a very colorful base because multi-chrome powders are overrepresented in this sample. I would think that there's also going to be a hollow finish, but given all the multi-chromes, I kind of have no idea what actual color this will look like in the end. Oh, this is so much science. I think it's time to bring in Christine the Science Queen. Christine the Science Queen. Chris, 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 Chris. Oh no, no, please don't leave me. I scare everyone away, even my cat. <laughs> okay, these are gonna make lines in my makeup, so we're gonna have to put them on my head. <laughs> so as in any professional laboratory, you're gonna need some scientific mixing components, as well as very accurate measuring devices. Here we have one eighth of a teaspoon. Are you ready to begin? Part the sea of powder. Sealed for my protection. Sealed for my pro ah! Sealed for my pro ah! Okay, maybe on second thought, I do need to wear these. Everything is contaminated! I don't have a bachelor or a master of science, only of the arts. <laughs> so this one eighth of a teaspoon spoon is honestly still a little big. I feel like I'd be wasting a lot of powder. So I'm gonna try and do half of an eighth of a teaspoon, which is also a sixteenth of a teaspoon. Wow, look at that math. Here we go. I 
have on hand a lot of powders that I've never even used. What kind of a terrible drug dealer would I be? <laughs> oh yeah, sure, take iridescent powder number three. I mean, I've never used it myself, but I hear it's a great time. <laughs> All right, now we're moving on to hollow powder. <laughs> this is the hard shit, the good stuff. Now I know it looks gray and kind of boring, but you gotta trust me, once you buff that shit into the nail, it comes alive. <laughs> You know, sometimes people say that going to school doesn't teach you real life skills, but excuse me, do you see all of the skills I am applying right here, right now? <laughs> now let's do the silver chrome powders. These were the OGs. At least as far as I remember. It was the silver chrome powder to hit the nail powder market first. Okay, we're done the silver chromes, and now we move on up to the multi-chromes. These are definitely one of my favorite types of powders. Basically, a multi-chrome means that it's a chrome finish, so it's shiny or reflective, but it shifts between multiple different colors, and not in the way that holographic things reflect a rainbow spectrum, but just shifts in color depending on the angle of the nail and the light. I guess you could say the same thing about hollow, but... It's very confusing. It takes years of research, okay? <laughs> so this one would be an orange to red multi-chrome. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't open any of them. What the f***? <laughs> ah! Manche, Manche, I need your supreme being strength. Oh yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. We got some olive green to gold multi-chrome and all sorts of beautiful, beautiful colors. For those of you who are new here, fun fact, I'm a crime statistics analyst. To everyone who starts laughing because they think that's not possible, you're an idiot on YouTube. And honestly, yes, it is really cool. Just like this. Hold on, we must do a little cleanup. That's right, Menchi, we gotta stay sanitary in the lab. Next up, we have our hollow multi-chrome powders. These, I gotta say, are a beautiful hybrid. Wait a second. I wonder if these special hybrid powders is really just a mixture of all the extra supply that they couldn't sell. They playing dirty. They playing fucking dirty. <laughs> This is really terrible, but <laughs> I just had a thought. <laughs> if you were to actually take all the different types of drugs in the world and mix them together, what, what kind of trip would that, that be? <laughs> I believe that respecting your country or state's laws is important, but having a sense of humor is not a criminal offense. You know what should be illegal though? People without a sense of humor. How did we even like get on this topic? Whew, too many powders for me. Okay. We're down to the last line. Oh shit, I think this one's kind of hollow. <laughs> Oops, who coded this in the wrong category? Manche! 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 One of my best interpersonal skills is being really easy to work with. <laughs> Hi to my boss. And the final powder. Well, would you look at that? On the top of the unmixed sample, we mostly see the colored powders, and the multi-chromes and hollows have been kind of pushed around to the sides of the glass, and the iridescent powders are lying at the bottom. But what will they look like all blended together? Let's find out! It's time to answer one of the most important research questions we've had on this channel. <laughs> you ready? And it just looks, looks like dirt. Woo! Oh no, don't spill it. Shake, shake, shake. Whew. I'm gonna get secondhand hollow from this. <laughs> it looks like a very dark gray, maybe a tinge of brown base, but I can definitely see the iridescent and hollow flakes scattered throughout when I add my phone flash. I don't know why I hypothesized that it would be like bright colors. Obviously, when you mix a bunch of colors, they make black. <laughs> I should go back to elementary school. And now it's time for the most important test. What does the mixture of 69 different nail powders look like on my nails? So I've already prepped my nails with some plain black nail polish. And my preferred way to apply nail powder is over 
top of a cured gel top coat. So first, we're just gonna make sure there's no excess powder on the black. Oh wait, did you notice? What's on my other hand? It's a stunning magnetic multi-chrome polish. You may have seen me experiment with these polishes in a recent video. They are fucking magic, and that is the only conclusion. <laughs> and now we apply a nice thick coat of glassy gel taco. So then I take my LED alien portal machine and I bake that shit for a minute. And now immediately after we've cured the nail and it's still fresh baked, we're gonna take our eyeshadow sponge applicator and dip it in our custom powder. And then just buff it into the nail. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my God, that's so cool. That's so pretty. Wait, Ben, are you there? You haven't seen anything I've done, right? No. Because you've been out all day? Yeah. Getting me tea? <laughs> no. I mixed 69 of my nail powders together. What color do you think they made? Why the f do you have 69 nail powders? Answer the question. It's Wait, gonna be a purple hollow. Come look. Is it hollow? Yeah, it's got a little bit of hollow in it, obviously. Did you dump like way too much of a no, hollow in it? No, I use scientific measurements. <laughs> but it's kind of like, like a brown suede gunmetal. Like this would be really nice in a men's dress shoe. Okay, anyways, we're gonna do the rest of our nails. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> and we're gonna add a final coat of glossy gel taco to seal the magical mystery all in. So the end result of mixing 69 of my different nail powders yields a very unique custom finish. Its base is like a slate gray color with an undertone of brown elegance. And it's definitely got that chrome effect going on. It is very reflective, understated, but beautiful. I feel like I could wear this to the office and not be questioned. <laughs> now what am I gonna do with this custom mix of powder? Sell it, obviously. simply special custom mixes. Not drugs, it's nail powder. All right, kids, don't do drugs. Hey boys, how you doing? <laughs> don't be shy. I got one for everybody. 50 bucks a baggie, but if you say my code simply, I give you 10% off. You want some nail powder? How about you? You look like you could use a little nail rubbing. How about you, gentlemen? Can I offer you some nail powders? No, okay. Maybe next time. I won't tell your wife. I got the good shit. Yeah. Limited edition. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for buying, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.